Hello and welcome to the 2 minute series. The topic for today is the hydrological cycle. Now this is also what is known as the water cycle and it is simply the movement of water from the earth surface to the atmosphere and back to the earth. This is the entire process which has been shown in this particular diagram and this cycle is what shapes our landscapes. It transports mineral and is essential to most life and ecosystem on the planet. So this cycle is one of the most important cycles and it has huge impact on ecology as well as environment. So from that perspective it is a very very important one now here you should know that the cycle is what if we take from the perspective of hydrosphere so let's start the cycle beginning from hydrosphere which is largely the oceans and other water bodies earth is largely 97 percent of earth is what is water water from these water bodies is what evaporates and this is what reaches the atmosphere Next, what happens is that this water, once it reaches the atmosphere, it cools down and that is what is the process of condensation. This is what results in formation of clouds or fog. Next is something called advection. This is the movement of winds, which the movement of wind is what results in movements of clouds. And this is what results in further precipitation. And this is what results in the water coming back to the earth's surface, either in the form of a drizzle or rain or snow or ice. So this is why this is how the water is coming back to the surface of the earth. Once water is coming back to the surface of the earth, this is what accumulates or later it in the form of snow and ice, which later melts back or it comes down in the form of rainfall this water then flows above the ground surface in the form of runoff and thus forming streams rivers swamps ponds and lakes and from these again the water is what comes back into plants which further through transpiration will release water back into the atmosphere or either through flow of this water it is what reaches the hydrosphere yet again and it is this hydrosphere from which the cycle is again going to continue so this is the entire movement of water in the hydrological cycle three major events of the hydrological cycle are first and foremost evaporation the second important step here is precipitation and the third important step here is the surface runoff so these are the three major steps that are taking place in the hydrological cycle and that's all about the this particular cycle and that's all about our discussion for today i thank you all for watching the video